Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Geography with Joy. This is Subha Lakshmi and we are discussing about the soil groups of India. Today in this video we are going to discuss about laterite soil in India. The whole topic is very interesting and informative too and I hope these videos are going to help you a lot. Please subscribe my channel and like and share my video. Let's start the class now. Laterite soil and the outline of the topic is Introduction Characteristics of laterite soil Color Texture and Composition Types of laterite soil Crops grown, areas and states where laterite soil is found, and at the end, map pointing. Let's go into the depth of the topic now. Laterite soil. Francis Buchanan Hamilton first described and named a laterite formation in southern India in 1807. He named it laterite from the Latin word later which means a brick. This is highly compacted and cemented soil and can be easily cut into brick shaped blocks for buildings. The word laterite has been used for variably cemented sesquioxide rich soil horizons. A sesqui oxide is an oxide with three atoms of oxygen and two metal atoms. It has also been used for any reddish soil at or near the earth's surface. This soil is formed as a result of atmospheric weathering of rocks under conditions of high temperature and rainfall with alternate wet and dry periods. It is a residual soil formed by leaching due to tropical rains. Leaching is a process in which the nutrients get percolated down below the soil due to heavy rainfall, thus leaving the topsoil infertile. This is also called as desilication. Due to heavy rains, lime and silica are leached away and aluminium compounds are left behind. Humus content of the soil is removed by bacteria that survives well in high temperature. It covers an area of about 2.4 lakhs square kilometer. There are two types of laterite soil. They are upland laterites and lowland laterites. Upland laterite is formed over hills and uplands. From there, it is transported by streams towards lowlands. Such transported soil is known as lowland laterites. Have a look at the picture. This is an excavation site where laterite soil is found. Laterite soil has a high clay content which means it has higher cation exchange capacity and water holding capacity than sandy soil. It is because the verticals are so small the water is trapped between them. After rain the water moves into the soil slowly. Characteristics of laterite soil. Laterite soil develops in areas with high temperature and heavy rainfall. It is coarse in texture and soft and friable in nature. Humus content of the soil is low 
because most of the microorganisms particularly the decomposers like bacteria get destroyed due to high temperature it is red due to the presence of iron oxide which is formed by leaching it is a porous soil it is poor in lime magnesium potash and nitrogen but is rich in iron it doesn't retain moisture and hence is not fertile laterite soil is suitable for cultivation with adequate doses of manure and fertilizers it suits only special crops like tapioca tea coffee cashew nuts rubber etc it is acidic in nature as alkalis are leached it has a unique property of being valuable building material as it hardens like iron when exposed to air in some areas this soil supports grazing grounds and scrub forest it is mainly found in karnataka kerala tamil nadu etc this is laterite soil laterite is both a soil and a rock type rich in iron and aluminium and is commonly considered to have formed in hot and wet tropical areas nearly all laterites are of rusty red coloration because of high iron oxide content they develop by intensive and prolonged weathering of the underlying parent rocks tropical weathering is a prolonged process of chemical weathering which produces a wide variety in the thickness grade chemistry and ore mineralogy of the resulting soil the majority of the land area containing laterite is in between the tropics of cancer and capricorn let's have a look at the color texture and composition of laterite soil i have made it very easy and comfortable for you all by bringing all the informations in points let's have a look nearly all laterites are of rusty red color because of high iron oxide content it develops by intensive and prolonged weathering of the underlying parent rocks however not all laterites are enriched in iron and sometimes they are not even reddish some lateritic rocks like bauxite are mined because of their high aluminum content iron rich variety is mostly used as a construction stone it is coarse in texture and acidic in nature it produces a ph value less than 7 and hence the soil is acidic laterite soil is rich in bauxite or ferric oxide it is poor in lime magnesia potash urea and nitrogen sometimes the phosphate content may be high in the form of iron phosphate in wetter places there may be a higher content of humus now let's have a comparative study of advantages and disadvantages of laterite soil from the utility point of view first the advantages it is light and porous and useful in growth of tea coffee cashew nuts etc it has high clay content and hence has better water holding capacity it is used for construction purposes 
as it becomes hard like iron when exposed to air. It is also suitable for use as film materials in embankment and dam construction. Coming to the disadvantages, let's have a look. This soil is formed by leaching and therefore consists of less minerals and organic materials. It is acidic in nature. It is not very fertile. It has high clay content and lower cation exchange capacity. Cation exchange capacity is a useful indicator of soil fertility as it shows the soil's ability to supply three important plant nutrients like calcium, magnesium and potassium. It is coarse in texture and cannot retain moisture. Laterite soil as construction materials. I have already told that laterite soil is used for construction purposes as it becomes hard like iron when exposed to air. Apart from that, it has many other benefits to be used as construction material. What are those? Let's have a look. It warms the rooms during cold and cools in hot season. It is available in most of the areas. Low cost of excavation, processing and production of building products. It can also be used in making bricks, blocks, floor tiles, roofing tiles, water pipes and sanitary items. When moist, laterite can easily be cut with a spade into regular sized blocks. Laterite is mined while it is below the water table, so it is wet and soft. Upon exposure to air, it gradually hardens as the moisture between the flat clay particles evaporates and the larger iron salts lock into a rigid lattice structure and it becomes resistant to atmospheric conditions. Have a look at these pictures where laterite soil is used for construction purposes. These are bricks used in a monument. This is a fragment of staircase. These are modern bricks used for construction of buildings and this is a temporary road on a construction site made from laterite soil. Now, let's talk about crops grown on laterite soil. Laterite soil lacks fertility due to intensive leaching. It is acidic in nature and has low moisture retentive capacity. When manured and irrigated, it is suitable for growing plantation crops like tea, coffee, rubber, cinchona, cashew nut, coconut, etc. Paddy is grown on lower elevation, whereas tea, cinchona, rubber, and coffee are grown on higher elevation. In some areas, this soil supports grazing grounds and scrub forest. Have a look at the pictures. This is a rubber plantation on laterite soil with proper manuring and irrigation. And these are cashew nuts growing well on laterite soil. Distribution of laterite soil. In India, laterite soil is widespread covering over 10% of the total geographical area. Let's have a look at the areas first where the laterite soil is found. The areas are the laterite soil is mainly found in the highland areas of the Peninsula Plateau that is 
at the summits of the Western Ghats and the Eastern Ghats. Let's have a look at the states now. It is found in Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, parts of Maharashtra, Kerala, Bihar, Orissa, Jharkhand, West Bengal, Assam, and Meghalaya. Now have a look at the map. Coffee color is used to show the areas of having laterite soil. As I told you that in India, laterite soil is widespread covering over 10% of the total geographical area, namely on the summits of the Western Ghats, Eastern Ghats, that is in the Rajmahal Hills, Vindhyas, Satpuras and Malwa Plateau, southern parts of Maharashtra, parts of Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, West Bengal, Odisha, Jharkhand, Kerala, Assam and Meghalaya. You can take it as a snapshot for your reference for map pointing if you want. And that's all for today. I hope you have understood and enjoyed my video. On this note, I have completed the whole topic on soil resources. I have made separate videos on different groups of soil and soil resources for your convenience. You can go through it for easy understanding and enjoy the videos. Thanks for watching. See you again with a new interesting topic soon. Till then, take care and have a nice day.